hi and welcome to angling for you today you join me on the deck for another lockdown video and today we're on about my top five venues that i like to fish and just before we start it's not the top five venues in the country these are just five that i fish on a somewhat regular basis that i'm going to go through out of questions that have been asked on social media so number one and then these are in no particular order i'm sure this will come as no surprise the oak sesse now this venue is it's quite a special venue to me it's one of the i would say the first commercial style venues that i ever went to way back when i was at a, f a fishing festival and uh, ian i was talking to ian heaps on a stand and he, he threw me this uh, little flyer and told me to get on there and years and years forward i get the pleasure of obviously um fishing some great great ponds that they have there and tom always sorts me out and chris a fantastic place so a little bit about it there's obviously i'm not going to go into how many ponds they are we'll put that up throughout the the explanation but there's quite a few ponds plus a, a three match ponds that are on there <clears throat> a lot of the ponds are match orientated but they always have pleasure ponds available all the way through the year so it doesn't matter if there's matches on on a weekend there's always pleasure ponds to fish which are always rammed full of fish and mixed species uh, they also have a specimen pond over there for the overnight carpers that they love to do that and um, they have a, a, a shop there on site with pretty much everything you need and a really good cafe uh, with great sort of breakfasts lunches um, <clears throat> that you can get while you're there so perfect on-site toilets and all that business so yeah different ponds the there's such a variation of ponds uh, i'm not going to go into them all but obviously cedar is probably one of my favorite a lot of f1s and big cat carp in there along with other species um you know i, I like to go for the eyed uh, on on sort of the poplars and things like that and you know th there's so many different varieties of species there it's really well, well maintained and really well looked after <clears throat> most pegs you can drive up to uh, behind and park the car which is obviously an absolute perfection um if you're disabled or if you you, you you know you're not up to carrying your gear very far or just like myself i don't really want to carry it if i don't have to um the i think the, it's on the exception of two which is the oaks and the firs they're two of the ones we have to sort of park in a car park it's not too far depending on where you go on a pond uh, and and you have to go sort of down a little alleyway to get to it but um it's reasonably priced <clears throat> i think it's about eight pound um for a, a day ticket I, i'm i'm pretty sure that you were able to get um, a little bit discount if you were coming later on in the day <clears throat> and is not um, is not bothered about you moving ponds either which is pretty good as long as you take your ticket along with you if you say you want to do a morning session on cedar and then you want to move across onto poplars or something like that um he's pretty happy for you to do that which is which is all good so oaks is uh, the first one on the list and um, the second one uh, that i've got on my list is birtwood fisheries again you'll see i've used i've done used them quite a bit on on um videos and you know the, the, so it's a really nice fishery um it, it has mixed reviews from people um not not in regards to anything to do with sort of quality and all that kind of business the um the quality and all that is is really good uh, and the, the fish are really well looked after um it's more for the fact that um some some of the big carp are in that in that main big lake and there's a lot of silvers in there and i think that annoys a few people but it's um you know it's well worth sticking it out on there there's some up to 28 pound in that big main lake i've got a couple uh, three sort of smaller syndicate style smaller ponds which have got islands and things like that which the fish matches on but also pleasure um, and they hold various different types of carp and f1s lots of sort of smaller hybrids and roach and tench bream all those um, and also they've got one like a frog or one which is more specimen carp but to be fair i i, I like to go on a big pond if i'm going to go specimen hunting but again it's around eight pound for a ticket and they do um uh, a buy four and get your fifth free uh, sort of stamp a bit like a costa coffee card um so you, it does work out quite decent if you if you're going to go regularly anyway um and, and again they've got a river stretch at the back so if you fancy going on the rivers uh, you can go on there and again it's well maintained well looked after and majority of the time you can park pretty much close to your peg or if not behind it depending on obviously what time of year <clears throat> you go so bit with fishery obviously that's a that's a, another one that you should really go and visit and going on to number three again an absolute mecca lindome lakes now this is not there's nothing i can tell you about lindome lakes that you can't see all over the fishing world is an absolutely amazing venue <clears throat> just so lucky 
that we've got that close to where we are uh, being in Doncaster area and it's just a fantastic place um, Neil um, and Aaron they absolutely it's, it's kept in immaculate condition they're really well maintained the really attention to detail with everything <clears throat> it's got a really good pro shop um, it's fishery on pellets and again it's around the eight quid mark we've got tons of lakes to choose from um, massive massive fish in sort of your locos and your beaches if you want in f1 fishing and picturesque um, island fishing on bonsai and it's just an amazing venue you can stay there in a in a camper van um, or you can stay there <coughs> in one of his lodges a, a bit like you can at oaks lakes as well and it's um you know just a really good place to be um secluded and there's obviously got their own tackle shop which is extensive now uh, fitted with all the drennan uh, gear in there and they've got a lovely sort of cafe bar area as well so it really is sort of as near as you get to a destination point really for fishing it just doesn't get really any better than that and and if you stay in and you stay in the lodges you get access to a sort of small um um, sort of like there it comes with a package kind of extra pond as well that you can fish and there's a lot of ornamentals and things like that in there so that's that's pretty awesome so Lindholm Lake's obviously my third in the in 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 the list and you know it's just an absolutely an amazing place to go, to visit I can't I can't recommend it enough uh, the next one I'm going to move on to is uh, Candy Corner Fishery now I've only fished this uh, well uh, twice now but it's not because it's because of lockdown and it's not only because i've discovered it sort of the back end of uh mid last year and you, you'll see me go on social media um saying how good it is and jamie does an amazing job and again it's such a stunning place around the doncaster area and it's just it just looks amazing um and the fish are massive you know you get a really good average stamp um the, the big main lake you, you know you can you fish sort of open water there's there's islands there's you know good margins down there and it's not too deep and the, the fish are a really decent stamp on on an average and then he's obviously got the other two ponds which i had the pleasure of fishing yet which is aj's pond and i can't remember the, na the, the name of uh, the other one and, and and again he's got pellets um and sort of bait on site not not much of a tackle shot but bait and everything's on site and he's you know he's a really knowledgeable guy he'll, he'll, he'll tell you about sort of best pegs to go on and where to where's fishing well and all that kind of stuff and again you can park behind your pegs so it's great for disabled anglers and you know if you go through my vi videos to to have a look you'll see how amazing it is and like i say i'm gonna put in photos and, and bits and bobs through this video um so just an amazing place to go right and this takes me on to my number five this one Alston fisheries i've fished it for quite a few years now they are the owner gordon teal absolute legend of a guy real nice guy this is where i shot the 20 pound challenge with a whip if you ever get to see that there's various other videos there with hybrid feeder and things like that it's got two ponds and uh, most people fish the main pond and it's full of absolutely tons of miracarp at around sort of the five to six pound range but there's then there's obviously as you've seen on the video um, really big fish into the, into the 20 pound range and obviously a lot of double figure fish but the, the thing that makes it so special is that it, in, in and amongst those there's a handful of really big koi fish running up to the 20 pound mark in there as well so it's real nice venue nice shape pond you know easy to fish and you know a real good venue uh, Gordon obviously maintains it really well it's really secluded and um, sort of down a country lane so you don't get bothered by road noise or anything like that it's just a nice peaceful place to be and run really well and really looked after um, so that's definitely my uh, number five and you know if, if this video is obviously what the what people are asking me for if, if people want me to do another one on, on on something else or my favorite we're going to talk to matt and get him to do his favorite river locations or favorite canal locations and that's that's what we'll do and like i said before these are not the top five in the country although they are big contenders um i know there's amazing places all over the country and loads and loads of venues i've never fished which i could equally or like better than these and i'm happy to to drive around and fish new venues that's what we're all about as a channel um i'm just saying at the moment these are my top five so 
I uh, hope this video has uh, been helpful. Uh, like I said, the videos uh, throughout the talking, I'm sure the photos and that been popping up of, of the venues and subsequently I'll put the lists of all the links to them in the, uh, the information below uh, on the end of the bio of the video. So you can just uh, have a look at, at some amazing places and uh, hopefully we can get out and fish the damn things. This terrible blooming coronavirus. So yeah, thank you for, for watching as always. Thank you for all your support. Join us on the Facebook group Angling For You. We've got the live stream at 7 p.m. on Friday this week, as we do all the weeks and certainly while lockups on. And then we join on to uh, uh, Instagram at angling underscore for you. And that's at 8 p.m. for the, the second part of the live stream for the people that haven't got Facebook. And um, like and subscribe guys, share with your friends. Thanks a lot for watching. Tight lines. <laughs>